Hoster. Uh, we named it after uh, the all-star shooting guard from the Los Angeles Lakers. And unfortunately, sometimes he chokes under pressure like Kobe, but let's hope that doesn't happen right now. So without any further ado, here's the coaster. Oh, well, let's explain what he does. Right here is a uh, light sensor that will detect this white, this white line that will be following. We've got, we've got some motors right here, here, and back here to control its arms, and it should be shooting this ball into the basket, and then it'll re-follow the line back and then shoot the ball into the basket when we move it over there. So, I give you the coaster. All right, so it's just following the line right now. And then, I don't know if it's got the smut, unhappy face on it yet. Oh, that's on the, on the way back. On the way back, it'll have an unhappy face. And it made it. Okay, and we'll give it the ball again and then replace the basket over there. Tyler and this is Mark and we built Buzz Lightyear. Basically what it is it utilizes several motors to spin some wheels and to make it roll and then it uses some sensors to line follow and to judge the color of a brick here and depending on which color brick we give it it'll go down the line and then turn towards the target of that color and shoot the balls by the, the wheels here. So first we're going to do yellow. <clears throat> so right now it's just reading the color, and then it'll be on its way. It's going to make its way back and give another break. Next we'll try black. Oh yeah. Read um, until it gets to the spot where there's a little line here, and then it'll stop there so we can give another break. Now we're going for blue. This one's been a little bit tricky lately, so we'll see how it goes this time. these white um, wheels and it identifies those by using a light sensor right here that um, recognizes the white wheels against the black um, paper and it has a motor right here to yeah to um, um, to move the arm up and down one here to move the car and then one in the back to spin it and it's ha been having some trouble getting one of these so hopefully it will pick up this time so yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's gonna spin around and detect how many wheels there are. So. Oh 
All right, so now that I know how many wheels there are, it's going to um, pick them up one at a time and drop them in the box. And this is the one that's been having trouble. So hopefully it doesn't. There we go. across the idea of a robot that could write on its own. And it's not intricate enough to write sentences, but we got there so it could write autonomously and scribble on its own. So we diligently worked on our robots so that could happen. All right, so we kind of ran out of time, and it actually doesn't write anything. It can pretty much scribble on a piece of paper. <laughs> It's kind of disappointing, but... All right, so we got two motors. We got one here that pulls the paper through the robot, and another one here that moves the car back and forth over the paper. And um, it goes pretty fast, so I might have to do it a couple times. And every once in a while, it'll move all the way over here and fall off. You can laugh, it's funny. <laughs> um, so if that happens, I'll just put it back on and start with it. So, here we go. <laughs> or it'll do that. Alright, here we go. There we go. We call it the we call it the hammer. Can everyone say hammer? Yeah. Yeah. That's our robot. Um, our robot shoots uh, these CDs. We are gonna just call them discs. Um, it's got two big wheels that shoot the discs and a tray that loads them into the wheels so they shoot. We have two motors running the this wheel because this wheel has to spin way faster than the other one to get it to spin. And then we have a. Uh, only one motor on this wheel, so it goes a little slower. And then we have uh, one motor on the bottom, moving the tray back and forth, loading the discs. And uh, we built it so there's four discs, it's going to shoot four times. And um, it only loads one at a time, which was uh, tough to figure out how to do, but we uh, got it to work. So right now we're powering up one motor, because we need to give that one time. And uh, we're going to... Whose parents ever told them not to shoot things at people? All right, well, they're right. But for this, we have to do that. So uh, we're going to have Jonathan here catch him uh, in his mouth. No, I'm just kidding. He's catching him uh, in a box. So, um, so we're going to have uh, Sam power up the other motor, and uh, we'll watch this thing go. Oh, shoot, it just missed the first one. So we're going to let it go through, though. It'll still shoot. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. Alright, now this tray comes back, it picks up the second disc, or it should. And then, there we go, it loaded right. We had some problems getting it to shake, because it shakes so much because the motor is moving so fast. But uh, we fixed that. Oh. <laughs> that one worked a little better than the first one. There we go. See the motor that moving is faster is shaking a lot more than the other one. Oh! All right, last one. Oh shoot, I missed it. Oh, there we go. 
All right, let's have a hand for Jonathan Tessin, these teams.